Okay, in this section of the workshop, we're going to be using a training software called Pianos. Um, it's not the front end um, software of the probability model, but it allows the um, par participant or the student to be able to get comfortable with the software, as well as allows us to be able to demonstrate what the model does and get you to better understand what a likelihood ratio is. On the left portion of the screen, um, you have a, a range of tools. The one we're really going to be focusing on is the one that actually assists us in plotting the minutia. Now, as we've stated in some of the other PowerPoints, um, we are strictly marking bifurcations and ridge endings. Um, the, the, the model does not deal with, with dots. So for instance, when you want to mark up um, the actual known print on this, on this page, um, everything is a left click with your mouse. So you're going to left click and drag, and I'll demonstrate that right now. For instance, if you're looking at this print and you want to mark up a bifurcation, such as this one right here, you're going to left click your mouse and drag and there's going to be a box that appears which I'm going to show you how to do right now. You would put your, put your mark on that bifurcation, left click, drag, and that box is going to come up and you're going to mark bifurcation. Now if I go a, one ridge over to the right there's an ending ridge. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to left click with my mouse, drag down. If I can get it straight. And mark the ridge ending. Now, if for some reason I feel that I've plotted incorrectly or I want to change the type of minutia I just placed on on the screen, the only thing you have to do is double click that minutia and then delete it. Hit mash the delete button. So once again, with this ridge ending, I'm going to left click, drag down, and in the box select ridge ending. And I would do that with all 12 minutia to, to plot all 12 minutia on this screen. Now, I'm going to go to the comparison screen. Now once we're on the comparison screen, we're going to do the same thing that we did on the analysis screen. We're going to be transferring that minutia that we've already plotted to the right-hand portion of the screen. And we're going to do it the same way. Now, just like we did on the left portion of the screen, if you mark um, a ridge ending on the left side, you have to make sure that the same, same part on, on the right-hand side of the screen is a ridge ending as well, or you're going to get an error when you actually compute the likelihood ratio. So once again, just as you did on the, the left-hand side of the screen, you're going to select the minutia that you want to plot, left-click, and drag. The box will appear and you'll select ridge ending, bifurcation, or unknown. And you would do the same thing throughout the right portion of the screen as you did on the left with all 12 minutia. And once again, if for some reason you feel like you've plotted something incorrectly or if it's not um, exactly in the, in the place that you want it to be, you just double click that minutia and you mash delete. And you can correct it. Now once you've plotted all 12 minutia on the right hand side of the screen, you're going to um, compute the likelihood ratio and which has already been done for demonstration purposes. And what you're looking at, once the, the likelihood ratio is computed, um, status will say 
we'll, we'll state OK. And what we're interested in is the actual magnitude, which is going to be that plus 8.